I don't know if I'm gonna read this book, but I do know that if I buy it, I'm gonna also have to buy a book cover so that I don't have to stare at that naked photo of Matt on the front of it. Oh God. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In Teen Mom news today, Chelsea Huska from Teen Mom 2 has announced that she is like the face of a brand of beanie hats. They're not like in her own Chelsea Huska store, but she does have a collection with a certain company. And a lot of you feel, you know, on opposite sides of the fence about this. There are those of you who are super excited about it. You love Chelsea, you'll buy anything she puts her name on it, you know, and a lot of you have already bought these hats. Then there are the people who once loved Chelsea and, you know, some of them still do, but they don't trust her as a businesswoman because she had this like jewelry thing that she tried to do a few years back where um, it didn't exactly pan out and pretty much like, none of you received your refunds from the jewelry that you ordered from her and she never came out to personally address it personally apologize to people or anything like that like all these years so it's kind of odd that you go from like that huge fiasco where you essentially just took money from people didn't explain to them where their money went and ta-da here i am with a line of hats want to buy some and then there's like the third and final group of you who are kind of annoyed at the hypocrisy of chelsea and this isn't my words you guys don't drag me in the comments some of you feel like chelsea is always so outspoken about being over the show over the publicity over the public eye but then at the same time um living off of all of that and just you know like for example she does a whole shit ton of product endorsements on like snapchat instagram twitter and stuff like that you know based on her fame from the show and here she is opening a line of like hats based on her fame from the show and then like she also talks about her new husband Cole being camera shy but he created an Instagram account and pretty much from day one started peddling all these like protein shakes and whatever with like you know buy this buy that so you know a lot of you guys are feeling all kinds of ways about this and I don't blame you am I gonna give you my opinion on where I stand no because the last time I gave you my true and honest opinion on your Queen Chelsea you dragged me and I'm still recovering my edges are under here as most of you guys know I like to browse the internet for my sources like I definitely don't like make my own stories on these team mom girls I just you know like to read stuff and give you my personal opinions on it that's what the grace report is it's just my opinion on like news that I have curated across the web and so one of the websites that I visit is reddit I don't have a reddit account and you know what while we're on this topic I am not last week on teen mom yeah I love her yeah she put me on but I'm not last week on teen mom so anyway um, while I was browsing reddit there was this one girl in particular who was kind of upset almost like I don't want to say upset like in a hateration kind of way but like she would she felt some type of way understandably about Chelsea having a toque line especially considering you know she herself has a line of like knitted goods where she puts like all the work into it herself like she knits them herself she packages them off herself and all of that and i checked out her website i bought one under a suedo name because i didn't want her in case she hates my video to like come and stab me and um i really want to give you guys the opportunity to check her out as well so i'm going to leave a link to her store in the comment section down below yes chelsea's a great girl and stuff like that but i feel like she already screwed like a lot of people over her first venture into the whole online sales thing and like here's a girl who's already saying that she doesn't want to be famous she doesn't like the spotlight so it's like you know if you don't want to like be on tv for me to watch or for me to like critique or whatever then like don't take my coins either and I would much rather support someone locally who actually puts their own heart and soul into their products so do check out her store down below it's really great to see you know this sort of little teen mom community get together for something really awesome and I hope to help out in that and in other teen mom news Matt Bayer um, Amber Portwood's fiance is coming out with a book and it was just announced on last night's episode of teen mom OG it's written in collaboration with a blogger named real mr. housewives who I I'm actually really shocked about because he is like a top-notch blogger a great like source who I've used in a few of my videos in the past and so to hear that like he's sort of like fallen under the Matt Bayer spell where he believes everything Matt says and like wants to you know join in Matt and Amber's campaign to, Matt, to make Matt seem like a great guy is just like really dude are you sure about that? Like, you really want to go down that path? Um, a lot of you guys have been, like, criticizing this on Twitter since the announcement. And to each and every one of you, Real Mr. Housewives has said, listen, like, Matt is not at all this person that he's been painted out to be. Like, just wait for the book. I promise your opinion of him is going to change 100%. Um, well, first of all, I don't know if I'm going to read this book, but I do know. Oh, my God, I popped up my jaw. Oh, am I going to die? 
I don't know if I'm gonna read this book, but I do know that if I buy it, I'm gonna also have to buy a book cover so that I don't have to stare at that naked photo of Matt on the front of it. Oh God. And so Matt, in his uh, exclusive interview with Real Mr. Howe's Wives, is claiming that he didn't even wanna do a book because he and Amber, quote unquote, don't seek out press. Maybe Amber doesn't seek out press, but Matt, are we supposed to believe that you don't seek out press the way you were trying to get with Farah and Janelle, pre your current fiance, like are you serious? You guys, my jaw, my jaw is killing me. Like, are you serious? Do you really think we're that dumb? Who do you think you're fooling? I don't like that he's acting like his truth is the end all be all of truths. You know, especially considering the amount, the sheer amount of women who have come forward and said, you know, admitted to experiencing similar like manipulations by him like you really think we're going to discount all this other evidence like you know like photos videos like you lying about your name like written texts and stuff all these children sprayed out across the country for your book matt like do you really think that anyway child good luck with your little book i think i'm gonna read it you guys i think i'm gonna read it and you know what while we're here on the subject of books let me just say something they actually had a book with someone from like the New York Times or whatever. Real Mr. Housewives is out here with a book with Matt Baer. I'm challenging myself, and this is my pledge to you. I'm challenging myself to create one in, get this, wait for this, in collaboration with Kifa and Cortland. And perhaps even Nathan, depending on what state he is right now, uh, he's in right now mentally. But that's my, <laughs> I don't know if I'm really going to go through with this, but I just feel like it would be so funny to have a book. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think about Chelsea's latest venture into e-commerce and Matt's naked truth tell all book. I'm curious your thoughts about Real Mr. Housewives approaching Matt for this book. Are you kind of disappointed in him? Do you think that he knows what he's talking about and we all really will be surprised or no? I'm excited to hear what you have to say in the comments section as always. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe for more, share it with your friends, and feel free to follow me across social media as well where I do love chatting with you. That's all for now and thank you so much for watching.